inducted into the hall this year in the contract personnel category, George Doak and Junior Meek. George and Junior seem destined to become partners in two of Rodeo's most famous clowns and bullfighters. Both were born in the state of Texas around the same time, Junior in 1936 and George in 1937. When George was asked at eight years old what he wanted to be, he immediately answered, the best rodeo clown in the world. It was quite a surprise to his family, who had no farming, ranching, or rodeo background. In 1954, Junior was at an amateur rodeo that had no one as a bullfighter. Junior offered to be the bullfighter for his entry fee to ride bulls and wrestle steers. Along about the same time, George also had an opportunity to fight bulls for his entry fee to ride bulls and bareback. For the first 10 years, the two worked separately, both making a name for themselves as clowns and bullfighters. In 1963, George and Junior got together to book rodeos as a team. This was the first time two great bullfighters had joined their talents and skills as partners. Either as a team or individually, the two of them worked most every major rodeo from east to west and north to south, including college, high school, and national finals rodeos. George helped initiate the Wrangler Bullfight Program and appeared in the Academy Award-winning documentary film of the year, The Great American Cowboy. Junior's career spanned some 20 years, including top rodeos in 28 different states, Canada, Cuba, and Australia. He was in high demand because he never hesitated to jump over a raging bull or to do a cartwheel over one that had just dumped his rider. The two of them clowning around together with all the great rodeo announcers such as Cy Talon, Mel Lampert, and Pete Logan made a full-time career seem like a vacation. Their bullfighting abilities protected some of the best bull riders of all time. Jim Shoulders, Harry Tompkins, Larry Mahan, and Don Gay. George Doak's boyhood dream came true. He became one of the best clowns and bullfighters in rodeo. George and Junior have both retired from rodeo, but their smiling faces, a trademark of their clowning abilities, are still seen at rodeo clown reunions and the Texas Special Olympics, where the two of them help make less fortunate athletes smile. <laughs>